Why do you think some women are more lovable than others? What do they have that other women don't have? To tell you the truth those women don't have anything different. In fact, most of them are average women with nothing special about them or their jobs, but yet they attract so much love from men that other women are envious of them. Your level of education or your bank account has nothing to do with it. Your mother thought you these lovable qualities as a young woman, but you weren't paying any attention to learn them. Now your numerous degrees and high-paying jobs can't afford you a loving and caring man. I can imagine the look on your face right now, but don't bother, I got you covered. The only thing that stands between you and your dream man is the neglected qualities of a good woman your mother tried to teach you a few years ago. Let's go through them one more time. 1. Be a great cook. Did you ever wonder why your parents were always happier on weekends? The real reason behind that happiness was that your mom got to cook for her husband and her husband had the opportunity to eat the most delicious food cooked by the most beautiful person in his life. They were not happy because they did not go to work but they were happy because each of them made the other person feel special. To be lovable in the eyes of any man, take time out to cook for him. Learn how to cook his favorite meal. Even if you don't get it right the first time he will love you even more just for trying. Nothing makes a man happier like a full stomach. I believe that the saying a hungry man is an angry man was coined by a housewife with good cooking skills. Men eat to look healthy, but women watch their men eat to look healthier. Nothing pains a woman like preparing and serving good food and getting that food returned uneaten. 2. Be respectful and know your rights. Do you remember when your mother scolded you for not obeying her and you were mad at her for scolding only you and not your brother? And when you asked why, you were painfully told that it was because you were a woman. Nothing makes a man love a woman more like respect. Do you know why you love your dog or your cat that much? It is because of the respect it has for you. You get mad at it when it does not heed your orders and poops on the couch instead of using its toilet. Respect should be reciprocated regardless, but men like it when their women make them feel like kings. Show him that you respect him, mean it, and he will love you even more. Technically to some extent, women don't like men who show them too much respect, they like a bit of aggression and roughness. Above all, know your rights and know when and where to respect your man. Know when you are supposed to listen and when to talk. Know when your man should answer the question and not you, unless he delegates that right to you. 3. Be a comforter. Have you ever asked yourself why your mother was the first person you ran to each time you were emotionally down, or the first person you will call right now if something bad happened to you? Do you understand the reason why your mother always sent you to go comfort your siblings when they were hurt or to rush to their rescue? It was because she was training you to be a comforter. Women are supposed to be comforters, not challengers at home. Keep away your degrees and paychecks far away from your bedroom. Men by design were built for hard work. So when he comes back from work he expects to be comforted by his woman, he wants to eat good food and be treated like a king. The simple trick with men is you have to condition them first to how you want them to behave by treating them the way they should be treated. If you want to be loved, love him first. If you want to be respected, be respectful. And if you want a shoulder to lean on, be a comforter. Don't be the kind of woman who attacks their husband in the doorway before he even sets foot in the house. Don't remind him of your contributions to running the house because he knows that is why he is working his butts off to make you proud. 4. Be his biggest fan. Remember how your mom was always there for you throughout your school life, shouting and rooting for you from the stance. How she was your biggest fan, no matter how you performed. She always saw something good in you. And how polite she will tell you what you did wrong and how you could improve on it. Your man is not different from who you were 10, 15 years ago. Men are like children, they need constant nurturing both mentally and emotionally from their partners. If there is one thing you should learn from this video it will be to support your partner, no matter what, and be his biggest fan.